Hello, everyone, and welcome to You Jokes. It is You Jokes. I am your host tonight, Jonathan Mangum, as I am every night. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I, I really appreciate uh, everyone coming to watching the show when there's so many other places you could have been, like the kitchen, uh, the bathroom, the other bathroom that only the cats go in, the cabinet with the pumpkin beer that that dude brought to your Halloween party three years ago that no one likes, but you know you'll be drinking before all this is over. So I'm glad you're all here. If you've never been here before, or if you forgot what it is, You Jokes is a live comedy game show competition time fun thing where two professional comedians compete for the best joke based on a suggestion I give them, which could be a picture, a meme, anything like that. They'll come up with the joke. That is not all, of course, though, because you get to play too. Do you have a joke? Do you think you can beat these professionals at their own game? Type it in right there in the chat on Facebook or YouTube. Just type in your joke. Our producer, Josh, will do his best to find a good one to go up against the professionals. And then normally, I decide who wins, but we're trying something new. You're going to decide who wins tonight. That's right, audience. You are in control of this entire show. I'll explain how that's going to happen um, once we get to that point. Uh, but I do want to say hi to some people that have been here in the... Michelle, welcome back. Michelle Carlin. I see Rose. I see Kim. Colleen McClear. Uh, Cassie P. I see Craig. I see Susan. Hey, Ronald Taylor Jr. Maurice M. Gray Jr. I see Olga, who is back. Welcome back. Paul Luisi. Hello, Paul. All the way from the East Coast. Jason Matthews. Uh, Jamie. Roberto. Doug Nichols. Uh, Craig in the UK, who is always here very early, um, and Doug, no, uh, oh, Alan Orschel. Okay, wow, chat's going good. We got a lot of people. This is awesome. Let us meet two of the funniest people that I have ever met in my life. Please say hello to Annie oh. Sertic and Mitch Silva. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Oh my God, thriving. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. Oh. It's great. Oh, God. I That's love awesome. That. It sounded like you just auto-tuned your voice, Mitch, the way the internet checked. You were like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. it's awesome. Oh, God. No, that's just what my voice has become. <laughs> um, Annie, uh, you've you've done so much great improv. You're, you, both of you are in the Groundlings, which is the best place in Los Angeles to study sketch comedy. Um, and I've done some fun shows with you, but what, one of our my favorite things you've done is my boys are now old enough to watch Silicon Valley. So we've been watching that. Oh, You're yeah. so great on that show. And it's like the best comedy of all time. And you were on it. That is awesome. Thank you. It was so fun. We got to improvise so much. Oh, I would try to create more storylines. It never made it in, but you know, <laughs> was just, DJ was like trying to, you know, hook up with people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Fun. And, um, Mitch, um, yes, you've done sir. so much, so many great spots on television and, and, and uh, sitcoms and stuff. But one thing that is my favorite thing that people may remember, I, I was, was telling someone about this earlier and they go, that was Mitch. You were in the, one of the first viral videos on YouTube of all time. Yeah, the David yeah, yeah. Blaine Street Magic YouTube video. If you haven't seen that, holy crap, that is so dang funny. Do people still talk to you about that? Yeah, it's weird. I, it's the, the weirdest thing is now when people in their 20s come up to me and say, oh, my God, when I was a kid, I watched that. And you're like, oh, God, I feel so old. But yeah, it was wild. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mikey Day and Michael Naughton wrote yeah. that thing. It was, like, really so much fun. We, it was, a, a, a like, a surprise. How Hilarious. And I, I'm going to I'm going to add. We don't normally do this, but this is we I worked with, on this show. Uh, Mindy Sterling came on. A, a couple shows ago, and she had a great bit where she's like, don't ask me about what I'm actually doing. Tell me what I'm not doing. So what made up project are you working on right now, Annie? Oh, it's called Bucket Parade. You're right. Where, yeah, it's it's a, a one woman show where mm -hmm. I take a bucket, right. walk across the stage. And th that's the show so far, yeah. That's, so that's a great start. That's Thank you, start. it's touring. It's touring, <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and Mitch, what what project are you not really working on? I'm not really working on all five movies that will be nominated for Best Picture next year. Oh, so I'm not in those. But wow, I, I can't wait to start working on those. <laughs> well, well, congrats on all that booking. That's fantastic. Thank you, thank you. It's been a wonderful time. 
<laughs> Mitch is actually, you know, we will acting coach each other. We will call each other an acting coach and do it on Zoom. And we'll do it like over and over and over. And yeah, we'll try to help each other book things. Oh, that's what hilarious. What's our ratio, Mitch? What was that? What's our ratio to booking to 100%. coaching? 100%. <laughs> 100 per, and then he froze. He's 100 percent. I love it. Uh, yeah. Well, it's time to play you jokes. Here oh, we go yeah. with our first Great. game. Our first game is called "What is this a commercial for?" What is this a commercial for? I'm going to show you the picture of something, and you tell me what it is a commercial for. And here it is. Bam. <laughs> what is this thing a commercial for? I don't know if any of you are gamers out there and if you've ever played the game Death Stranding. This is exactly how I feel in that game. That's an inside joke for gamers. Uh, if you know uh, what commercial this is for, go ahead and type it in right now into the YouTube or the Facebook chat. Type in what you think this is a commercial for. I'm going to start off with Annie. Okay. Annie, what do you think this is a commercial for? Instead of Amazon Prime, it's Amazon Slime. Amazon Slime, oh. yes! Get that disinfectant in 12 weeks! <laughs> I love it. Amazon Slime. Mitch, what do you think this is a commercial for? Weirdly, we have similar minds because I think it's Amazon Next Day Delivery Snail Mail. Snail Mail! Oh. 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 Two good ones. Those are good ones. They're going to be tough to beat. We're going to go to the audience. Josh is feverishly looking through to find the best audience joke. And it comes from Craig in the UK. Dial up internet. The speed of the 90s. Whoa. Dial up internet. The speed of the 90s. All right. That is good, too. Good job, Craig. So normally I would pick the joke that's best, but you're going to. And here is how. Oh, God. It feels like high school. I know, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you think. Like Jim. Annie's joke was best, type A in the comments. If you think Mitch's joke was best, type M in the comments. If you think the uh, comment joke from the comments was best from Craig, type C. So type in A, type in M, or type in C. Josh is going to do an eyeball, a quick eyeball vote of all the little votes to come in, and he will announce the winner. This is, the, I mean, the, the, the excitement in the internet right now is palpable. I mean, right? I can barely breathe. <laughs> I can barely breathe either. Yeah. So, Josh, with your eyeball, who won round one of you jokes? Annie wins! Yes! Annie! Mitch! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, boy. That, okay. I got one point. I never win anything, so this is exciting. I won one <laughs> Mitch, you can still catch up because it's time for our second game called Name the Supervillain. Name the Supervillain. I'm going to show you a picture of a supervillain and you tell me what his supervillain name is. And here we go. <laughs> okay. What is this supervillain's name? I have to personally say that I am not scared of any supervillain whose weakness is horses. But what is this supervillain's name? Type it in now into the Facebook or the YouTube chat, and Josh will pull out the best. We started with uh, Annie last time, so we're going to start with Mitch. Mitch, what is the name of this supervillain? Oh, he's frozen. Am I frozen? Not anymore. No, now you're not. Okay, hi. Did you ask me what it was? Yeah, I did. Okay, the Mulchillin Man. <laughs> Mulch. The Mulchillin Man. Right. That is a pun that I enjoy. The Mulchillin hey, Man. Thank uh, God. Good job, Mitch. Annie, what is this supervillain's name? Uh, I'm going to go with Hay Fever Man. He can clear a room with a sneeze. Hay Fever. Uh, okay, we're going to go to the audience now. I see some people playing. There's Lyle Moon. I see Brandy Marie. I see Postmaster Radio, Roberto, Evan, Patrick. They're all playing. Josh, what is the best audience joke? Ben Pack, Hey Man, and the Masters oh, of the Universe. Oh, good. yeah. That's good. That's really good. Hey Man, like He Man. Yes. Time to vote, ladies and gentlemen. Was it A for Annie, M for Mitch, or C for the comments, which would have been the audience? A for Annie, M for Mitch, or C for the comments? Uh, type it in now. Annie won the first round. It's Annie won. Mitch I need 
Uh huh. I need this. You need it. You need it bad. And I like the Mulchlin man. It's so oh, stupid. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> the Mulchlin man. Josh, what do you say? Who won that round? The audience. Oh, won. Yes. Hey man. That was a good one. I came there in with. Go. With Skella Horse. Uh, oh no, no. Oh. Luckily, I can't play. Uh, good job, audience. <laughs> Moving on to the next round. This was called Finish the Lyric. Finish the Lyric. Uh, I'm going to show you a lyric from a popular song, and you finish it. Don't really finish it. That wouldn't be funny. Finish it with the <laughs> wrong lyric. And the lyric is, making your way in the world today takes dot, dot, dot. Some of you will recognize this as part of the theme song from Cheers. The rest of you are under 35. Go ahead and finish it. Making your way in the world today takes. I miss Cheers. That was a fun show. I know, right? Yeah. Well, what was the, uh, there were there were two leading ladies on that show because one left, right? Yeah, Shelly Long. Yes, Shelly Long. That's right. Yeah. And then it was Kirstie Alley. That's oh, right. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good times. Uh, let's go ahead and type in your answer in the Facebook or YouTube chat. I'm going to start off with Annie. Annie, finish this lyric. Making your way in the world today takes a mask and Xanax. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Good night. We would have also accepted three Xanax and no mask, but we will take your answer. Uh, Mitch, finish yeah. this lyric. Uh, making your way in the world today takes a good attitude, CBD oil, and just a splash of denial. Oh, that's kind of like Xanax. We're, we're, we're close. I like that you're both medicating uh, the world today, uh, which which works for me. Uh, Josh, let's go to the audience. The best audience joke making your way in the world today takes three pounds of cheese. Three pounds of cheese from Dangerous Safety. Dangerous Safety. Three pounds of cheese. All right. You get to pick, audience. Was it A for Annie, M for Mitch, or C for the comments? Go ahead and type in who you thought won that round. Just a dash of denial. Just yeah. a dash of denial. Just a, a pinch. A <laughs> yeah. Pinch. And CBD oil, which I, I have never tried CBD oil. Are you a CBD uh, oil trier? Yeah, I, I, like an IV drip of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. It works. What does the CBD stand for, Mitch? Uh, uh, cannabis something. <laughs> That's correct. I'm glad you know your medicine. Um, Thank you. Doctor. That's a Josh, real. who won that round? The winner is Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Good, Mitch. It's a three way tie, you guys. Annie has won. Mitch has won. The audience has won. Okay. Let's see what happens. Someone will be in the lead after this next round, which we call Name the Movie. Name the Movie. I will show you a picture of something that is not really from a movie, but let's pretend it is, and then you will tell me the movie that it is from. Name the Movie. And here it is. <laughs> here, here's the movie. You know, he's got no strings to hold him down, but he does have a terrible cocaine habit. But what... <laughs> is the name of this movie. Type it in now to the YouTube chat or the Facebook chat to compete against these two. We're going to start off with Mr. Mitch Silpa this time. Mitch, what is this movie from? It's from Toy Story 5. Hello again, Dolly. <laughs> oh, that's good, Mitch. Toy Story 5. Hello again, Dolly. That's a good one. Annie, what movie is this from? Trump, The Early Years. <laughs> I know. I know. I couldn't do that. You've got the hair. I can see the hair totally. Yep. yep. Uh, those are good ones. Those are good ones. But let's go to the audience. Josh, Cassie P, the elf that is no longer on the shelf. The yep. elf that is no longer on the shelf. Uh, that's a good one, Cassie. All three good ones. Audience, you know what you've got to do. you got to vote. Was it A, Annie? Was it M, Mitch? Or was it C, the comments? A, Annie. M, Mitch, C, comments. Normally, I'd say A for audience, but because Annie starts with an A, I'm Thank making you. it easy for everyone to understand. Uh, Josh, 
eyeball it and tell us a winner for this round. This will determine who's going into the final rounds with the most points. It is... Audience! Yep. Yep. You guys, the audience is ahead two to one to one. I know. That's fair. And it's a good one. <laughs> Elf on a shelf, but that's not on a shelf in the bathroom. Yeah, it was superb. Exactly. Uh, well, here we go. It's time for a little thing we call Last Show's Best. Uh, how this works is not everyone watches this live. Most people that watch this will watch it after it's already been live, but we want to give those people a chance to type in jokes as well. So what we do is uh, we will look back at all the all the jokes that the audience has typed in and we'll uh, pick the best one from last week's show and we'll invite that person in to play in the final round of this week's show. So uh, please welcome uh, last week's winner. It's uh, Jamie Black. Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Hi. Okay. I believe uh I believe you're down in Orlando, Florida, is that right? Yes, it's a sauna. Ooh. Oh, is it hot? Hot. <laughs> Let's show everyone what you what you won for last week, Jamie. We played a game called Happy Hour in which you had to say uh what was the name of this cocktail? <laughs> and there's a cocktail. <laughs> and let's show what you answered for the name of this cocktail. The nip and sip. That is so good. The nip and sip. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> and if you haven't tried it with a dash of denial, uh, then you're really missing out. <laughs> All right, so you need to play in this final round, Jamie. So this final game, this final game, which will give our performers a chance to tie with the audience, is called inspirational poster inspirational poster uh i will show you a picture that could be an inspirational poster and you tell me what the poster says okay here is the picture <laughs> okay there is the picture this looks bad but at least he's about to find out that there are better bike lanes in heaven uh but what would this inspirational poster say type it in now in the facebook chat and the youtube chat and also jamie is playing as well so good luck to you jamie uh, this is the final round of play. I hope you've all had a good time today. I know I have. We're going to start it off with Mitch. Mitch. Me. Yeah, uh, what does this poster say? It says, unless it's Christmas, wearing red with green is always a fashion accident. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I like where I didn't see where you were going, and then it popped up. I like that. Uh, we'll go to Jamie next. Jamie, what is this inspirational poster say? Okay, it says, "Never give up. You're really important." Oh, you're really important. I like it. I like the puns. <laughs> uh, Annie, we all fall. Just always protect your balls. <laughs> <laughs> we all fall. Just we, wait. That would imply we all have balls, which is something well, I did not know. We all have metaphorical balls. Metaphorical balls that it yes. takes to live in this world. With <laughs> uh, Josh, you want to pull out one from the audience? Pull out one from the audience. What you think this says? And the audience answer is from Maurice M. Gray Jr. When life snatches your bike out from under you, don't despair. Just do the worm. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, you get to vote. So we're going to start off. Uh, if, if you think Annie's was best, A, Mitch was best, M, Jamie, our winner from last week, J, or C for in the comments. Go ahead and type that now. While they're typing in their final votes, um, Annie, um, where, where can people follow you on the social media or what can they keep up with what you're doing? Uh, yeah, Instagram at just my name, Annie Surdich. Um, Also on Zoom. Uh, on Zoom. Just I'm log into Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mitch? Uh, Instagram, Mitch Silva Picks, and I guess Twitter. I'm rarely on Twitter, though. Just go to Instagram. And Zoom, too. He's on Zoom. We're going to Zoom. I don't know if you guys know how Zoom works. <laughs> we don't care. We love it. Zoom is uh, our best platform. When this is all done, we're still going to only be on Zoom. <laughs> uh, all right. We are going to go to Josh. Josh, who won that final round of play? The audience oh. won! Oh, wow, an audience blowout. Well deserved. Uh, I want to thank Jamie Black. Thank you for coming on the show and playing, Jamie. I want to thank Annie Sertich, and I want to thank Mitch Silpa 
So funny. Follow them. Uh, go see their shows if you're ever in Los Angeles at the Growling Theater. Amazing. And uh, thank you for joining us. If you're watching, uh, not live, if you're watching it on uh, Instagram or if you're watching on Facebook later, please follow, like, please share. And tune in for our next show. It'll be Tuesday, June 30th at 6 p.m. 9 Eastern for our next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.